Hi guys, this is Robin, your host for the day. I hope you guys are doing great and staying safe. Welcome to this amazing workshop with Yetsa, where she is going to demonstrate 3D effect on iPad lettering. Today's event is brought to you by Design Design Hill, which is a creative print on demand marketplace where you can discover and buy 50 plus unique products, gifts, and artwork created by artists around the world. So moving ahead, uh, let me introduce our speaker for today. We have with us Yetsa. Uh, Yetsa is a lettering artist from Venezuela. She's a wife and mother of two boys. Her hand lettering passion began five years ago with her cousin. She started following a couple of artists and tried doing similar work to practice and her interest for this lettering style kept on increasing. She was able to do a modern calligraphy workshop to learn more about it and she fell in love with it. She loves to learn and teach others from her experience. Yetsa, can you please say a quick hi to the audience? Hi guys, it's nice. Yetsa, you are you are on mute. Yeah. Yes, yes. Hi, thank you, and um, welcome all for joining this workshop. I'm very pleased to be here, and yes, I fell in love with calligraphy five years ago with hand lettering and creating. I love learning every day. And this is a great opportunity to show what we know and keep on learning other artists as well. So thank you so great. much. Great. Great. So before we start the session, guys, here is a big announcement. We are giving a, giving away certificates to the attendees who would stick till the end of the session. You just can't miss this chance. So stay tuned till the end. And also you can take a screenshot of this event, put it, put it on your Instagram story and tag this. Design Hill DA, Typography Designers Club, and Style and Calligraphy. One lucky winner will have a chance to win a print shop gift card worth $50. Along with that, as a gesture of appreciation that you could join us for this event, we have some special offers for you. So keep an eye on our chat section to get your offer. Having said that, let's quickly look at what Print Shop by Design Hill is all about. That was all about print shop and now we are all set to start the session and guys if you have anything that you would like to ask Yetsa then please put them under the questions tab. We have rolled out a few polls in the poll section also and don't forget to answer them. So Yetsa let's begin over the session and over to you. Okay guys so welcome and as you see here uh, I'm showing on my iPad what we are going to do today. We are trying the. So you are on, you are on mute. You need to unmute yourself. You hear me now? Okay. So what we are going to do right now is the three D effect and we are going to do it using our iPad. Um, the program that I'm using is Procreate app. Uh, I have right now an iPad Air, and I used to have another iPad, the, the basic, the most important thing is that uh, it works with your Apple pen, or, or with the pen that lets you work uh, in your artwork. Okay, so the first thing is to create a new artboard. So we go with the screen side. I like the artwork to fit my entire screen uh, to start working. So 
As you know, in Procreate, we have uh, too many brushes that we can use. And one of my favorites, of course, is the, the brush markers, the one that have that kind of effect. So I create this one. It's, it writes similar to, to the pens that I love the most. I go to a black color. And let's start writing. Let's go with this with hello, like like the one that I show you previously. So if you're familiar with uh, lettering, you know we try uh, thick and thin strokes, strokes. So this is what I'm doing right now, okay? But the 3D effect, you can also um, do it with another kind of letter. Um, I mean, it, not, it doesn't have to be necessarily uh, this style, okay? But you can try it and giving thin and thick strokes is going to make you look even better. So I'm doing this right now. I'm going over the lines to start creating that effect, okay? Okay, awesome. So now that we have our word word uh, created, we are we are going to start working with layers. From now on, we are working from uh, with layers. So, the first layer, we are going to swipe and duplicate. We keep on this uh, hidden. Uh, with the select selection tool, go to automatic, click on, on your lettering, and now you see that it, that it comes transparent. Switch uh, to the color that of your choice. Okay, we go to color. I love all the, the pink and I'm going to the with Yes. And we feel the color. The thing when we select this tool, uh, we are only working on the selection area, okay, on the area that is selected. So this is very important because from now on, we are going to think about lighting. Okay, if we go, if we give light to this design from this side, so we have to think where is where the shadow go, because that is very important. That is gonna give us the 3D effect. We are going to start forming that. So hit new layer. Let's switch the, the brush and to start, we go with the airbrushing. We have all kinds of brushes in here. We have painting brush, drawing brushes. We have also calligraphy, airbrush, texture, etc. So we go now with airbrushing, select the soft, and go to the, it could be like dark gray or black. And let's start giving some shadows to our design. And let's start with this. If the light is coming this way, the areas of the of the of the word that are lightened are like this part. And if the light hits here, it's gonna create a shadow behind that line. Okay, so let's start with this. As I mentioned, 
we we are working on a new layer if i try to paint here nothing happens okay if i paint outside my selection area it, nothing is going to happen but if i paint inside it's going to happen and we are going to create that effect too let's undo that and start working so my shadow is going to start here and here you see if i only do these two lines we start thinking like the line behind the line is going behind okay but now what we want to do is like extend this a little okay and we go from darker and like fading a little this okay and we are doing the same on this side if you have an ipad this is perfect for you and it's going to be of course easier than if you try it on the paper but um, you can also try it in a paper uh, and try to get that that effect Okay, so I'm thinking that this, this uh, line that goes behind uh, make like a turn to get the light. So this is why I'm cutting here and the same, I'm doing a fading, okay? Then if you, if you see my brush size, this tool change the brush size, is very is very like small and i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger to fill this spice this space sorry. Okay. so i'll go again with this cut in this part and we are going to do this all over the design thinking about the the parts where the the line cuts and the shadow that it's making to our letter, to the light. Okay. okay. Every time a letter uh, cross with another letter, we want to try this, okay? Whenever we have a like a curvy side, like in this, for example, because we're changing from going down to going up, and then when when the that letter encounters another letter we want to do the same okay so we go here we have a, a turning like a curve here so we do the same okay right now it could be very rough not not so much detail because after we we do this we are going to make it look better using the next tool. Okay. So it doesn't need to be perfect at this point, at this moment. Okay. Let me go again. As I mentioned, every time we we add the, the darker color. We have to think about the light, where is the light coming from, and what part of the letter we want to to have like darker to make that impression that it it's behind. Right. 
So I'm going to zoom out. To zoom out. And then you see, we kind of are looking at that that the effect is starting to to create right so i just change the size of my brush and i'm connecting the for example this um darker side with the one on the bottom and and so on okay So I told you, okay, it's not necessary to be like perfect right now because the next thing that we are going to do is like to make it uh, a little bit soft. So I'm going to erase, but uh, as you can choose a brush to paint, you can choose a brush to erase. And I go with the same brush, okay? With a soft brush, but it's, a, it's from an airbrush, with the airbrushing tools. A little bit bigger, and just touch the screen softly. You don't need to go um, too hard on the screen because then it's going to erase everything you did. But since you selected the airbrushing tool, it's gonna be like very soft and it's gonna give you like if an effect like like if you're it's degra degradating. So this is the, the, the first part. It's very important to, to start with this. Okay. So what do we know we do next? I see still like very dark this part. And what I want to do is go to the same layer that I'm working, click on the letter N and change the opacity. I like it like close to 50%, not too dark, not too lighten. Okay, so if I go like 20%, I don't see any difference or, or it's a very slight difference. So. I prefer to go like around 58%. I can still see the darker um, shadow, but it's not too dark like it was before, okay? If you see and I go 100%, it's too rough. So let's try 58, 60%, I think it's good. Okay, uh, next step will be going to a new layer. And if you see, I'm always on the selection tool. I keep um, selected all the, uh, the area that I need to work on. One thing that I like uh, to do when I have the time and I go very slowly, I go again with the with my eraser. I put it very, very, very small. And then I fix all these little spaces like where it's not supposed to be black and I fix it. Okay. If you want if you wanted like a perfect design or very close to to what you think it's gonna be the best. So go and clean with your eraser tool and make it look super, super uh, neat, okay? So here, there. 
So moving on. The next thing to, to make this like pop is to add the light. We already did the shadows and now we go to the light. Again, we go to brush library, airbrush, soft brush. But now the darker color is gonna give us a shadow. We go to a light color, okay, to create that light effect. I already have a, a white here, but you can also use your color wheel and go to the white. Change the size of your brush. And the secret here, this I think it's like a, the secret, try to think like if you're using a real airbrush, okay? So you need to go very soft, okay? Like barely touching the screen. Don't go like this because it's, gonna, it's not gonna look good, okay? So let's go soft and then it's going to start looking like fading on the on the corners of the design and then it's going to be a little bit more lighter in the center okay so if you feel like you're using an airbrush tool you get to create this effect okay looking good so every part of our design of our letter that is without the shadow that we did we are going to try to do the the lighting effect okay so we go in this part because when we want what we want to create is that effect that the light is getting that point Okay, so very soft. And it start to, to get that effect and make you feel like it's popping, like it's starting to, to become a 3D. If you see this one comparing to the two letters that already have the shadow, you already can notice the difference and they feel like, oh, really, they are starting to look different from the other ones. So we have to try that with all the letters, okay? Perfect. We are almost done with this. Okay.
Can you see it now? Let's see, perfect. So we have um, the, okay, we are now like in the middle of our design. Okay, it's starting to look like, oh wow, really, it's popping out from the, from the artwork. Okay, next step, I create another letter, another layer, go to the brush library. I like very much the effect that these uh, charcoals, um, brushes give to the design. So let's change to again to a dark color. It could be black again. And we start like touching softly. Okay, okay we need to start touching only the parts of the design that we just lighten, okay? We go there. We go to the parts that we lighten. Just a few spots. We don't need to, to fill it entirely. So we go here. And this is why, because we want to give like a texture idea. So see, every time I do something and we compare to the letters that doesn't have that effect, we see a huge difference. And the only thing that we are doing is like one single step. So, so far I use on my brush, charcoal, burn tree, and as I started touching with small um, charcoal thing, okay? To make it look like more realistic. Right. I can go so far. What do you think? looking good so next step same brush but go to white again because when we have light we have black and white so this is like creating the same texture but some of these parts are very light eh? the light the design is getting okay just a few spots i don't need to fill it entirely okay looking good make sure that your uh, lighting layer is always on the top so i created a new layer to give all this texture but I need to have this one on the top. So always move your the layer that has the light to the top, okay? That's gonna be my first layer. And after this, remember the first one that we duplicate the original design? Okay, let's click on that one. And once we have it there, let's go to that layer, change the opacity. This time, yes, I'm going under 40%. Let's move it and we'll see where it goes. All right. Before doing that, Yes, we need to um, unselect the, I mean, turn off the selection tool. So we go to this, perfect. 
and just move it. Remember that we already changed the opacity. And boom. Okay. Looking good. But I want this shadow, this shadow to be like a little bit lighter. So I think I'm gonna go to 20, yeah, 23% looks good. Still working on that layer. Let's go to adjustments. Gaussian blur layer and let's move it just a little bit. What this tool does is like it blurs uh, the layer that you have. But you know the shadows aren't perfect so that's why I'm using this to make it a little bit blurry and then you'll see like, oh, it really looks like a shadow, like the shadow of your design. Mm -hmm. Perfect, so at this point, we can start playing a little. This is like one of my favorite parts. Okay. We can play with the layer where we choose the color of our design, go to the wheel, and let's say, no, no, I don't like pink, come on, change the color. Okay, what about this? And you can feel your design. And now you get another color. Oh no, but maybe like an orange thing. Let's see. It looks good. But let's try again with this. Choose a color that that gives you like contrast with the with all the effects that you apply to your design. Okay? After having that, we need to select a color for our background. You can add a new layer, move it all the way to the bottom and change that color. Okay. And there you go. We have our 3D effect and from we we were able to go oops that's it okay, I wanna show you this very very quick Okay, so we were able to go from this, okay, to this. What do you think? Hey guys, I'm reading the the chat right now. So if you'd like to, to add more shadows or change something on any of the layer that you work on, you just have to go to the layer, select the layer, and then start changing like, oh no, I prefer it like it looks darker or I need to add more lights and you 
can go again to your airbrushing tool, select the light, okay? And then, oh, let's say, no, I think I need more light here. You can do like that. You can always change your design, have fun, enjoy the process. You can try it with any word you prefer. Um, the best part of this tool is you can, you have a lot of choices, a lot of brush to try and colors to, to experiment with. If anybody has a question. Yeah, Ezekiel was yeah, saying yeah, about yeah, the pink so. color. I love the pink one. <laughs> So I would I would also like to say that that was an amazing demonstration and it was really fun to uh, see that like how you created that design on, on an iPad and I also believe that if you if you do this uh, uh, in real in practical on an iPad it would be more exciting <laughs> yes it is yeah yeah so uh, let's uh, let's uh, go to the questions tab uh, at the moment, we have only one question by Pyle. And guys, I would request you to drop your questions uh, that you would like to ask Yetsa, and she would be very happy to help you. Well, and uh, I'm watching the question right now. The name of the app is Procreate App. I'm writing the name of the app. So Pyle, uh, if you can hear Yetsa, the, the name of the app is uh, Procreate. And she's also typing the name of the app uh, on your question. It's Procreate, and I I, I think uh, this works uh, only on uh, only on iPad or a Mac. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. But there's also uh, for Android devices, for other devices, there are similar programs. Okay. Okay. So that's how we, we have some questions from our registrants who, who registered for the event, but uh, unfortunately they were not able to join. So we can take some questions uh, from them. Uh, so one of our uh, event registrant, uh, he asked uh, uh, like, uh, which is really important these days uh, to how do you deal with uh, plagiarism when you see other artists or companies copy your work and don't give the due credits so any any thoughts on this uh, yet sir oh when you see other artists work i recommend to always give the credit um also when you learn from others like appreciate all the the things that you learn from others because yeah when we create something we are giving like a part of us so it's always good to appreciate other artists' work. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you so much, Yetsa, for answering this. Uh, we have one uh, one question from Jessaline. Uh, she's asking about the brush type. Uh, what's the brush did you use for the lettering? Okay, the brush that I use for the lettering today is one that I created because I like the way the the thin and thick stroke go is very similar to my favorite uh real marker so i try to do it soon i have it available but now if you want to use another one from the brush library i could always do it or go with the brush pen okay or the script works as well but today i use my own brush Okay, that sounds good. And I hope, Jesseline, this uh, answers your question. Uh, now we have a question from uh, um, Beggy. Uh, uh, the question is uh, the same The same question about Procreate. You mentioned there are other softwares, software as well, uh, similar like Procreate. So, uh, uh, Yetsa, can you, can you name out those uh, software or app that uh, people can use on other devices apart from uh, Apple? Oh, wow. I know Sketch. And 
unfortunately i don't know the name of other apps uh, okay but i'm gonna work on it so maybe later on my instagram i can show different apps that you can use okay. yeah okay and is it also possible on adobe illustrator this thing i'm sorry uh, is this uh, this type of lettering is it possible on uh, adobe illustrator also can you do that on that software i think so yeah okay okay cool. and uh, jonathan is asking uh, uh, can i use ibis paint i think is is uh, mentioning about uh, some paint type um, i don't know what it is uh, you must be I, aware ibis paint i don't know the ibis paint i don't know the ibis paint okay. but um you can see for artists like the work with paints there are brushes like similar to markers uh, oil based paint you have like Oh, a big library that uh, try to sim to be similar to painting. There's also a, a place where you can buy different brushes from other artists that create their own brushes like watercolor and maybe Ivy's paint, which I know, I don't know, but maybe there's an artist that created this. And as I mentioned before, if you want to try this effect on paper, on your canvas, I think trying the, the basic shadows and lighting, you can get this effect as well. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Yetza, for answering that. And I hope, Jonathan, this answers your question. And we have a, a, a query from uh, Dinah. Uh, I think uh, she's looking for your uh, website or Instagram handle. So, Diana, we, we are putting that uh, Instagram handle of uh, uh, Yetsa on our chat section, so you can follow her. And Yetsa, do you do you also have any any other any other website where you where you yes, teach or? Yes. Uh, you can also go to my website is um, styleandcalligraphy.com okay. or through Instagram styleandcalligraphy. Okay. Okay. It would be great, yet so if you can type that uh, website in the chat section so that our yes. audience can uh, visit that site. Perfect. Great, great. Uh, we have uh, next question from Nino. Uh, I think is uh, once once again. Let me read out the question. Uh, he's asking what software that you use in Digital Illustrator aside from calligraphy. I like to use Illustrator. Yes, when I need to to vectorize all my designs, I go to Illustrator. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, now we have uh, one more question. Uh, his, it's from Renga. I hope uh, Renga, I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, uh, he's asking how to feel the character uh, character of lettering. Uh, how to feel the character of lettering? Well, I, I really like the lettering and you can choose the, the lettering style of your choice. Okay. I'm very okay. passionate about this style. It's like very free. It's not like doing calligraphy, the old fashioned style, you know? This is like a very fun way to do it. And you can choose okay. your own style. Uh, I want to ask a question from you. Uh, so, 
the question is uh, what do you think uh, makes you sure about choosing this lettering field and how can you make a career out of it can you say it again it's breaking yeah. a little bit yeah. it's a, what do you think uh, that uh, makes you sure about choosing this lettering field and uh, how how is it possible to make a career out of it okay so when i started watching videos and other people that was doing it i really liked it and since i was very little i always like to have like a a pen with me and a and a notepad so like i wanted to try it i started copying what i was uh what I saw on the screen, oh, look, I see thin and I, I see thick strokes and I'm gonna try it. And I started practicing. Um, so I really liked it. I think this activity yeah. is very like a mindfulness because you concentrate on this when you're doing it, it's very relaxing. And when you do the things with passion, the next, thing like becoming this passion to your work is very easy because people is gonna see that you love what you do and they want to to get in touch with you to have your work with them so yeah one thing great, great. take you to the other one great. Great. but the most important so, thing is to enjoy what you do right 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 and uh, yeah, you can. I, I also believe that uh, you can only enjoy if you have passion for something. If you don't have the passion, then uh, it becomes a boredom, like after after some time. So passion yes, is very, very, very vital for any anything, any career you are opting for. Yeah. Right. I, I so really when I'm doing this work, I don't feel like I'm working because. <laughs> right. I enjoy right. It so much. Right. Great. So, all right, guys, uh, this brings us to the end of this wonderful workshop with Yetsa. Uh, this was indeed a value-packed session. Although there is a lot more that we could have learned, unfortunately, we have we have limited time. And I hope you guys loved the session, cause I personally did. Once again, I would like to thank Yetsa for taking out time to be a part of this event. Any last any last words you want to say, Yetsa? Well, thank you guys so much for for bringing this opportunity to me and to other artists uh, to, show, to show what we do, to show what we love. And uh, thank you, thank you so much. And all of you for being here and appreciating our, our work. Any question you have um, after the ends, you can always reach me on my Instagram and I'll be happy to help you. Great, thank you. Thank you so much, Yetsa. Also, guys, now it's time to reveal the secret coupon code. The code is PSYQ15. It is valid till 13th, 13th March. And for more details, kindly check your chat section. So, guys, what are you waiting for? Go and fill your shopping cart today. And, guys, this is not very tense. We have a lot more events lined up for you in the coming days. The next event is a workshop on the art of ads, creating videos that sell. And the event is on 5th March. So, do register for the event. And if you are guys interested and haven't registered yet, I'm the I'm putting the link of our event section event section in the chat section where you can find all of our upcoming events and register. Also, do check out our old events as well. And to watch this session and other such wonderful events, subscribe to our event section on YouTube channel. You can find the link in the chat section. And for all the business owners who are listening to this and wish to be a source, high quality design, uh, and build their brand they can visit designhill.com and also guys we have recently launched some cool design challenges which are worth five thousand dollars per month any designer and non-designer can be a part of it and create some awesome designs using our diy design tool called design hill studio visit designhill.com slash studio slash challenges and check more about it and you can find the link of the same in the chat section here and on that note, guys, I would like to say bye to everyone who joined us here today. Take care, guys, and stay safe.
Thank you.